In this video, we're going to discuss some further function concepts. So first, let's look at arguments, which are sometimes referred to as parameters. Now these are values which are passed to the function at the start so it can do something useful. Now not all functions require an argument, but you'll find that most you write probably will. Now unlike some other languages, JavaScript is not strict about how arguments are defined and whether you miss a few. So let's create a very simple function which takes three arguments and displays them in the console. And we'll call it show message. And we'll just name the arguments A, B, and C. And we'll output to the console. And we'll put spaces in between so they're easier to read. Now we can call this function with the three arguments that it expects. That's the first argument, the second, and the third. So let's save the file and run it. And then we have hello from JavaScript. Now we can also pass some extra arguments. Now when we save and run this, the fourth argument is actually ignored. And we can also call it with fewer arguments. So what's happened here is that B and C have been set to undefined, which is a special JavaScript value, which means that nothing has been defined for that variable. Now this output is probably not what we need. So we can define some default values for our function. Now this probably looks a little bit confusing, but if you recall our Boolean logic data types, you'll remember that A will equate to A if it's truthy. In other words, it's not null, undefined, zero, or an empty string. If it is any of those, A will be set to an empty string. And we can do the same for B and C. So now, if we haven't defined any of our values, they'll be set to an empty string. Let's save and refresh. And there you are, hello is shown and the rest of the string is simply set to an empty string here. Now, interestingly, we can also write our function without specifying any arguments. Now, there's a special variable named arguments. And this is set in JavaScript and it holds all the values you pass to the function. Now it's actually an array which we'll be discussing in later videos. But you should be aware that arguments zero is the first argument you pass. Arguments one is the second argument you've passed and so on and so forth. There's also arguments dot length which tells us how many arguments have been passed to our function. So we could therefore write a loop which appends all our arguments together. Let's do that now. So we'll set an initial string which is empty and then have a for loop which starts at zero and goes to arguments.length And every time that loop runs, it'll append the argument at index i plus a space. We can now output that to the console. So if we save this and run, as you expect, we get hello. But we can also pass any number of arguments to our function and it'll continue to work. Now finally, you can also pass multiple values as arrays or objects. Now we're jumping a little ahead of ourselves here and we will be discussing those concepts in later videos.
So let's turn our attention to return values. Now all functions return a single value. If you don't define one with a return statement, the function will simply return undefined. So our show message function does exactly that. If we put a console log around show message and save, you'll see that the message is output here as we expect from this command. But then this is the returned value which is undefined which is output here. So let's rewrite our function so it actually returns our string. Now it's important to remember that when a return statement is encountered, the function will end. It won't care if there's any further code. So what's happening here is that show message is running and it's simply returning a value which is equivalent to all these strings concatenated together and we actually output it here. Now you can only return one value. However, that value could be a single array or an object which actually contains multiple values. But again, we'll be discussing that in later videos.